around the zoo. Here, the around the zoo, daddy. Yeah, there's a crocodile. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's a crocodile. Hi guys, we're in Toronto Zoo. So this is the Toronto Zoo 2022, summer 2022. Hope you're gonna enjoy watching guys and hope you're gonna enjoy this video. So once again guys, thank you so much for all your unending love and support. This is Tess Hanon. Enjoy watching and as usual hope to see you again in my next video so guys uh enjoy this video this is a zoo mobile so we are uh, like a tour around the zoo so enjoy watching guys here we are in the zoo mobile so thanks <laughs> We are touring you around the zoo, guys. Enjoy! Oh, right here, so we have a news to say that this is construction. This is a little bit of the fun where construction workers are hard at work or hardly working.
Have you heard an animal that was made famous by the Lion King? What about Blue Will the Beast? Who's the best of the ABCs here in the Toronto Zoo? The names are Abercrombie, Benny, and the Little Oysters. We may notice some black striper that goes down the side of them. We've got some effect mechanism to make them look skinny and oil as if they were too shiny. So Ed Prozzi is going to be your help for your brain. These guys also lead the world's largest land migration, around 2 million animals, because they have this special ability to smell water. This migration is still larger than we've seen from space. We're now coming up in our next stop, the African savanna. This is where you'll be able to see the most amount of animals with the least amount of walking. Here we have animals like our lions, hyenas, cheetahs, baboons, gorillas, giraffes, hippos, white rhinos, batusi, kudu, warthog, and so many more. So if you like to help out the animals with those little bits, come to the boot stop before exiting on your right hand side. Africa. I'll get it in one. Our yeah. next stop will be in the Asia Wild. Coming up on our right hand side, you may notice some fencing. Those are shady acres. That's why I'm enjoying a lot of brushes for a tire. If you have food in there at the moment, then you can out get it But if you don't get a good look at them right now, that's okay because there's some kind of more very soon. We're not expecting to be able to build exclusive areas, and we would not be able to have seen these animals to do regular walking time. Coming up on our right hand side, we have a lion tail of the cat. We do have two of them here that are on the zoo, and they're brothers, sisters, duo. And we can see one of them right down there, but two of them on the right hand side. We have Dina and Gunter. Dina is the one at the top of the post, and Gunter is the one at the bottom. It's pretty obvious why these guys are called lion tails and packs because their tails are tough just like a lion and on the main they're on their face similar to a lion. <laughs> Our next animal is a zoo girl favorite on the left hand side. We're able to say Cedric or Ronald Green. Well, it looks like he wants to play hide and seek. Cedric is about 5 foot tall and has a 6 foot wingspan, but when he has his adulthood, he'll be about 6 foot tall and has an 8 foot wingspan. And on our right hand side, we have our Mongolian wild roosters, which are usually in our little wild stripes, but seems like they're just going to be separated for the day. So we'll now be able to enter our open Eurasia wild habitat, so please keep hands in too, if that's a zoo or a ghost thing. And please look for any kind of game where you're that may walk up to us, they are still wild. Also, if you do watch out the number of dogs when you're doing each other running around, and our driver has taken the liberty of naming all of them Ryan, get it, Ryan, Gosling. On our left hand side, we have our West Caucasian Terrace. We have four of them here to show on the zoo. Their names are Turbo, Turbin, Turnip, and Terminator. These guys have horns that never stop growing and grow right out of their skulls. And I know with the largest horns, this horn will be the most dominant. You can find our female herd in our Eurasian Wild uh, Walk. And we do also have some babies there as well. So again, our Mongolian wild horses are usually in here, but just for the day, they are going to be separated. So I'm going to have some more of those counter baits as we exit. So again, feel free to throw your hands up in the air and shout, Wee!
this arctic wolves guys that's arctic wolves yeah that's our those are arctic wolves and then later on we what arctic wolves mean wolves wolf. oh, oh and that's ice polar beer right we've been to after we uh after the zoomo we no, went it around was because not you want to no, watch the animals closer so that's the polar bear Mm -hmm. Once again, once again, bye, guys. Bye, 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 I know. Once again. I am a crocodile. Croc, Thank you so much croc, croc. for watching, guys. Hope croc, you enjoyed croc, this croc, video. Croc, croc. And again, see you on my next vlog. Once again, thank you so much. This is Tess Hanong. Hope you enjoyed watching, guys. And that's there. My gosh, pants over there. Crocodile. Mm. Crocodile. Yes, baby. for watching guys we are on our way home now we're done for the day and it's so much it was so much fun thank you so much guys for watching this is tess and don't forget to like and subscribe thank you